Morning, y'all. Stephen, why are you sitting here? Since we're friends at school I figured you wouldn't mind me asking if we could share lockers at school. You already have a locker, why do you need mine? For my collectibles. Are you talking about those action figures? Bite your tank, they are vintage collectibles. So old, action figures? Talk like that will get you thrown out of the collector con down at the mall. Anyways my collectibles are growing so I need more space, so what do you say? Friend. Fine, but I'm not responsible for any of the things they'll see in there. Oh, you're welcome Stephen. Okay, you're welcome too. Okay seriously, you know what, none of you are welcome, I welcome no one. See, this is why I just slam the door in people's face. This whole trying to be a nice person thing is really getting old. I try to be nice but no one even notices, what's the point of being nice if no one is nice back? You shouldn't be nice because you expect something in return, you should do it because you want to. Okay, I will never understand your logic. Being nice is making me look weak, everyone treats me like a doormat. See, now that, I understand. My respect has been going down lately, now I'm the guy that everyone just knocks into. See? Well, if it makes you feel any better, it's fun to watch. You know what? I'm done being the joke around here, I might not be able to use my powers but I'm gonna find a way to get people to respect me. There is a sensei that needs my help hosting a karate class this afternoon, maybe you could help. I can use my fighting skills to show everyone I'm tough, people will finally respect me. You know what, I'll come too. To support me? No, to throw people on the floor without consequence. Classes don't start for another hour. We're not here for your class, we're here to help you with it. Only experienced fighters can help me with my class. What you don't think we can beat them? I don't think you can beat me. Oh yeah? Have you been training in karate? My whole life. You must be experienced fighters. I'll let you all help my class. Is it just me, or do I look crazy good in this? It's just you. Just don't forget to put on a belt. Oh and just like that, I'm a black belt. Karate is super easy. Yeah this place is gonna be a piece of cake. Wow. That's a lot of confidence for a dude with one little chest hair. Hey watch this, hey nice kick, did your grandma teach you that? Don't get too cocky kid, you haven't met the best student in our class yet. Well, I don't know who that is, but he's no match for me. Bring him on. And in this corner, weighing 87 pounds, it's me. Steven? The one and only, now say hello to my two friends, pain, and agony. Are you sure this isn't the comedy class? Rosie, I didn't know you were interested in martial arts. Oh yeah, I love violence in all its forms. So you're the toughest guy here? Huh, wow everyone else here must be really bad. Slow down Sparky, I've been taking karate since I was a little kid. I have a first degree black belt. Wow. Not what I was expecting from the kid who brought a stuffed animal as his date to the winter dance. I just help you don't get matched up with me little man, wouldn't want to hurt you. You, hurt me? Ha, huh, impossible. I'm sorry Stephen, I think you're underestimating how strong I am. 
Why don't you spar with me and I'll prove how good I am. Fine. Just don't get mad at me if I... Ow. Booyah. You are in my dojo now, punk. I hope I didn't hurt you too much, Kalu. I can't believe it. He kicked my butt, Steven. Kicked my butt, Steven. You'd think it would get less funny the more times you say it, but it doesn't. The whole point of taking karate was to get my respect back but Steven just made me look lamer than ever. I know, I can't wait till next class. There's no way I'm letting him humiliate me again, today I didn't use my full abilities, but next time when I do, I'll be taking down the best kid in class. Think of how great I'll look then. So either your plan works and you beat Steven or he humiliates you again? Well I'm hoping for the latter but I'm on board either way. I hear you've been making eyes at my lady. Let's see you try that without a head. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> classic Steven. Starting to understand why our school has guidance counselors. Wasp, I know yesterday we left things on a pretty even footing. No, it was more like I flipped you. Everyone laughed and then you started crying. Hey, that was eyeball sweat. But now, I'm ready to take down. I laugh, but I don't want to stifle my masculine persona. Hey, we don't have many black belt students here, so I guess I'll have to be your sparring partner. Sure, why not? I never turn down an invitation to hurt someone. Cool. <laughs> You are really good. Where'd you say you trained? Oh, you know, the, uh, streets. Cool. Can you do a 720 tornado kick? No, but I can do this. <laughs> I win. You said you were gonna go easy on him. It was just a reflex. Steven are you good? Physically, no. Mentally and emotionally, I'm a total mess. Apologize to him. Whoa, give him some room here champ. Sorry, I was just... Wait, did you just call me champ? I mean, I did just beat the best student in here, so I guess I should be the champ. What? No, I'm the champ. I can break a stack of five boards. I bet I could break ten. If these broken boards are a way of saying I'm sorry then this is a terrible apology. Why should I apologize? You would do the same thing in this situation. This is different, it's Steven, and I can't believe I'm about to say this but, once I began to know him he kinda became like a brother to me. Except even better because he's not you. Congrats Galu, you dethroned the king of karate, this will be my last day at the dojo. What? No Steven. Get a hold of yourself woman. My legend will live on but my spirit has been torn asunder. Galu, say something. Well you take care now. Seriously Steven, you can't give up. Sorry, but the damage has been done. Farewell friends. I can't believe you, you know, I'm all about gaining respect but did you really have to embarrass Steven to get it? I wasn't trying to embarrass him, but at least I finally have respect, right? Sorry I'm not about to give that up. Well then I guess I'll just have to make you give it up. Steven? Crazy seeing you here. Not that crazy since you tricked me into coming. Ha ha, what? Oh, spare me the lies, I should have known the dojo wasn't being turned into a museum about my life. Wait, I brought you here because I want to help you get your credit back. You'd turn on your own brother for me? I'd turn on my brother for a stack of pancakes, let's do this. Alright champ, we're here to take you down. You really want to challenge me again? Actually, Steven's gonna sit this one out, this challenge is all you and me. What? Why? 
because you decided to gain an unfair advantage on Stephen who is my friend, and I'm here to take back what's his so. Fine, you want a piece of the champ, let's go. Stop, stop. You don't have to do this, Rosie. I appreciate you for standing up for me but I have to admit it, Kalu is superior to me at karate. Let's go, Kalu the perk due is back, name still pending. The whole reason I joined karate was because everyone at school treated me like a nobody, I just wanted some respect. Wait, really? Yeah, but you wouldn't understand, cause you're super cool. You think I'm super cool? Yeah the super was a bit too much, but you are a vibe. I had no idea Steven took karate for the same reason I did, I feel so bad, I totally stole his thunder just so I could feel better. I know, I love it when you marinate in your own shame. Steven wait, when it comes to karate my skills were lucky, but you're the real dojo champion, go ahead and take me down so you can regain your status as dojo master. Hold up, you think I'm that pathetic that you have to let me win. No I was just trying to. <laughs> Works for me. Hey, not to get all mushy, but I'm proud of you for what you did to Steven today. Thanks. It takes a lot of courage to let yourself be embarrassed that badly by a young, much smaller boy. Wow, one and a half seconds of kindness, that's a new record. I was thinking and, I don't need to be karate champ to get respect. As long as I respect myself that's all that matters right? Sure, we can go with that. You know, I'm proud of you too, I never thought you would fit in when we were younger and much less make a friend, but after seeing how you stood up to Steven today, it's pretty clear that you've made two. Yeah, wait who's the other one? Oh wait, Leo.